Let's end the pod with an Austin Eckler thought. I mean, here's a guy who's led the NFL in touchdowns over the last two years, who is a great uh, rushing, receiving weapon for Justin Herbert, who now wants to talk to other teams because he's getting nowhere, apparently, with the Chargers on a new contract. Miles, your thought about Austin Eckler and also just your thought about it's hard for veteran running backs to really get a lucrative additional contract after they've gotten the 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 the, the physical uh, torment and beating that a guy like uh, Austin Eckler has gotten early in his NFL career. Yeah, and Austin Eckler is an interesting case because he's going to be 28 next year for the season, and. You don't want to say, oh, man, 28 yeah, is a running back. He's past his prime. And it's this. And he's led the league in touchdowns the last two years. 38 touchdowns scored. I mean, that, that's points, man. That's a lot. But also, it's kind of like, well, where do you really rate Austin Eckler when it comes to great running backs in the NFL? I mean, he's had over 1,500 yards from scrimmage in each of the last two years. Obviously, he can catch the ball very, very well out of the backfield. But, I mean, when you, got, when you have a guy who's catching 100 passes from Justin Herbert, you, you want to say to yourself, well, is this because of Austin Eckler's talent or is this also because the Chargers offensive scheme was garbage and they didn't throw the ball down the field enough? I, I think it's a little of column A, but a lot of column B, which is why Joe Lombardi is no longer there. And now they have in Kellen Moore. But if you're Austin Eckler and you're slated to make about six million dollars this season and the franchise tag is 10 and you've got guys who are going to be probably playing under that if they don't get long-term deals. I'm talking about guys like Josh Jacobs, you know, um, a Saquon Barkley from the Giants. And you look at your production versus what they're doing, you're right in line with those guys. So I understand why Austin Eckler wants a third contract now. He, in a lot of ways, he's earned it. But at the same time, it's a roster construction question, Peter. A and for me, when I think about roster construction and I think about running backs and I think about championship teams, I'm not often going to pay the running back unless, you know, maybe I got a quarterback on a rookie deal around 10 million plus to be that guy, because there are running backs that come out in the draft every year. And I don't feel good about saying this because it's like, Oh, I'm, I'm totally devaluing the running back. And I don't love that. But it, it like I said, it's a roster construction question. And especially when the last player in my mind that I have in as a running back who was dominant is Isaiah Pacheco. And he was drafted in the seventh round toward the end of it. Kind of like, man, do I really want to have this guy making this much money on my franchise? When I know that a, we're going to have to pay Justin Herbert. And B, we've got Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, and they should be volume target guys. It's an interesting roster construction question. Look, the bottom line is this, and I Austin Eckler is one of my favorite guys in the NFL. He is a, he's a great interview. He's a good yeah. human being. He realizes how fortunate he's been to be where he is in life, you know, after going to a tiny college in Colorado being a free agent, being the last running back in camp with the Chargers. I mean, it, the story is really a great story. However, it is. however, if you're the Chargers, you look at them and you say, you know, 6.8 million, which is what you're going to make this year. That's what we think is fair. Um, unfortunately, it's not the most fair for a guy who's trying to make as much money as he can in a limited amount of time in the NFL. But the fact is, I, I you know, Running back contracts for veteran guys, overpaying running backs is just always, always been proven to be a mistake. It's unfortunate. It's sad. I agree with you. It's not fair. Blah, blah, blah. It is life in the NFL. Running backs get beat up and then they're not worth as much anymore. But anyway, look, we'll see what happens with Austin Eckler. And I hope that Justin Herbert still has him with the Chargers. But I don't think with any running back that I'm going wild uh, trying to keep him because so many running backs are able to come in and play at a high level on day one. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.